Two years after one of New Zealand's worst mining disasters, a report has revealed it could have been prevented. 29 miners died in an explosion at the Pike River coal mine. Investigators found there were 21 warnings of excess methane gas in the weeks before it happened that were either not noticed or ignored. The report does not say what sparked the explosion, but suggests it could have been an electrical fault. The miners are thought to have died almost instantly. The bigger picture the investigators described is damning. They say there was a production before safety culture at the mine, an unsuitable ventilation shaft, only one exit and no planning for a coal mining emergency. And even though the mining company was young and inexperienced, the Department of Labour allowed it to operate without adequate monitoring. Did you have enough staff at Health and Safety? No. Did you ask for more staff? Yes, constantly. The Minister for Labour, Kate Wilkinson, has stepped down. Uh, the Department of Labour, for which she was the minister, could have potentially prevented these, these men losing their lives. It's possible that if they had done their job better, it's possible that those men might not have died. The Pike River Company has long since gone bankrupt and is not defending itself against nine Labour violations. The former chief executive, Peter Whittle, is pleading not guilty to 12 health and safety violations. And an Australian contractor has been fined for providing a faulty methane detector. The families of those who died have called for the Pike River management to face criminal charges. That's unlikely to happen. But the inquiry has recommended major improvements in workplace safety regulation to prevent similar disasters in the future. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.